Hello everybody, it's Penny here from East Hearts Family Centre Service. Now, feet. We've all got them. Some of them have got narrow feet, some of us have got long, some of us have got short, some of us have got wide. But we can't do without them. We might like them, we might love them. But we run, walk, hop, skip and jump with them and paint. Yep, you heard me right, I did say paint. We're going to look at painting and making footprints today. Not all with paint, but, and not all with our own feet, but that's where we're going to start. So feet, paint, paper, soapy water, and a towel. As we're in a nice warm weather now, taking it outside a great thing to do. So you can either put your paint, your feet into a tray with paint on, or if you prefer, you can paint your feet with a paintbrush. It's quite tickly. And do that. What does it feel like when it goes on? What does it feel like when you put your foot into the paint? That's something nice to talk about with your children. Is it hot? Is it cold? It's slippery, so you do need to be mindful if you've got a big piece of paper outside um, that your child doesn't slip when they put it into the, into the dish. And then you can press down really hard and get your footprint. As I said, talk about what it feels like when it goes on. Is it warm? Is it cold? Can you feel it in between your toes? And then you can look at the shape of your foot. So you can start identifying. So you've got your, you've got your toes. You've got your inset, you've got your heel. This bit of your foot is quite sensory. And it doesn't mean you have to like it. Some children like it, it might feel very odd. But have a go, make patterns with your feet. You can have big feet, maybe even have your child's feet. Make a pattern as you go along. Maybe you can have a go when you're printing, you can just print your toes. Maybe see if you can balance and just print your heels. Quite tricky this one. Print your instep. So you stand on the side of your foot and get that. Look at the different shapes that there are. There's a rhyme that you can do that might like to do that with that and it's called baby shoes, mummy shoes, daddy shoes, policeman's shoes, clown's shoes, giant shoes, which is a great one again thinking about the different size of feet and shoes and things. You might like to have a go at creating something out of your footprints. See if you can make a picture out of your footprints. That's just something you might like to do to extend, but the great, the main thing is, of course, is having fun and using it, not necessarily to have this great end result. Now, if you're not sure about putting your feet in the paint, which I have to say I personally love, but I know I'm probably in a minority here, is put your wellies on. And that's great. Do exactly that. Put your wellies on or any other footwear that you're happy to go into paint. Put that into there and make those footprints. You know, you can stomp, tread lightly. Does the print come up differently if you jump? or tread lightly and tiptoe across in your footprint. So something to sort of work about and do. Now, other things that you can use to make footprints is, is flour. You can put flour in a tray. Have a go at that with your flour. Maybe mud, sand, water. Just put your feet into water and do Put one footprint with water along the concrete or anything else. So, if using your feet or your child's feet, you're not quite comfortable with it, and that is absolutely fine, have a go 
at making footprints using animals. See if you can find plastic animals you've got at home. They're a great one for doing that. And put those into the paint. Dinosaurs are brilliant for doing this. So putting those into your paint, printing down and making your animal prints like that. And again, see if you can make those animal prints with the paint, the water, the mud, the sand, Play-Doh as well as a great one. Look at the patterns they're made. When you're out and about, have a look and see if there's any animal or bird prints on the ground. See if you can identify them. And of course, always make sure you've got your nice bowl of soapy water so you can wash your feet and your animal's feet. You can even make the washing part of the activity. So slosh it about with your foot in there. Watch the paint come off and see. So have a go and enjoy. See you another time. Bye bye.